Hi, I'm TJ Thine. I'm an actor here in Los Angeles, California, and this is the This Is Me feature on Amanda Elkin's blog. Um, so, here we go. I'm going to read some questions that Amanda has prepared. Who's behind the camera right now, by the way? Okay. Here we go. Um, tell us something about you that most people don't know. This is the hardest question in the world. Ooh, I think I asked you this very question. <laughs> um, all right. Something that people don't know about me. Um, I teach spinning. Ooh, your eyes popped up. Um, I teach spinning periodically. I substitute. I'm, I love spinning and swimming and running and every kind of athletic uh, um, exercise. But uh, yeah, I've been kind of substitute teaching in uh, spin classes for the last year or so. And they want to give me my own class, but I don't think I have time for it. But it's a lot of fun. So I'm a spin teacher. <laughs> that's someone. That's something people don't know. All right, let's see. Um, are you an only child? No. Uh, is there a tradition from your childhood that you hope to pass on to your own children one day? I'm not an only child. There, I come from a big family. There's six kids in my family, plus mom and dad. Uh, three boys and three girls. Um, if you ever watch the Brady Bunch, I would be Bobby Brady. Um, then my family cracks me up. They're so amazing. I just had uh, a chance to go to Austin, Texas to see my sister, to meet my newest niece, who is, I don't know, two months old maybe, and she was there with the other ten uh, nieces and nephews that I have. Um, so there's ten nieces and nephews, six kids, mom and dad, plus the significant others. It's a big clan. It's a big group. Um, crack me up. They're so fun. My brothers and sisters are my best friends. I'm very lucky. Is there a tradition from your childhood that you hope to pass on to your own children today? We were talking about traditions today, about like holidays and things, and yeah, I would say most of the traditions that I grew up with, I would like to pass on to my kids. Um, uh, I don't know, the way that you, the way that you have dinner together, you know, no TV, nothing, just sit around the table and talk and find out, you know, how each person's day was. And, Spend time with each other and travel with each other and get to know each other. It makes you much more friends, you know, than, than family. So, that kind of tradition, spending time with, with each other. Um, what shows do you TiVo? I TiVo Parenthood, which I love. Friday Night Lights, Dexter, Mad Men, which is amazing. Um, I TiVo Amazing Race, I love that. So you think you can dance? Because I can't, and I so do wish I could dance. Um, Conan. That's my TV. Um, Rescue me. Rescue me. That's about it. There's got to be something else. That's pretty much it. Top Chef. That's me hungry for watching that. Okay. Uh, blonde or brunette? Through and through. Brunette. Especially when I'm holding the camera. Okay. Um, best places in town to hang out. Well, right here. Right here. Here. The Disney Hall. Um, Alright. My favorite places to hang out. Best places to hang out. Griffith Park Observatory. When the sun is setting. The Hollywood Bowl. When it's a great band that you have just been waiting your lifetime to see. Um, the Hotel Cafe. And you're bored and it's late at night and you're not sure where to go. Um, Improv Olympics. Uh, Cafe Stella. You want a great meal by candlelight. Um, um, Aroma Cafe. Santa Monica Pier. Um, there's so many great places in the city. Those are some. Okay, here we go. Lots of questions. What's something you are best known for by your friends? Example, I'm a Coca-Cola addict. Yes, you are. <laughs> uh, my friends always have Coke in their fridge. That's very true. Um, something known by friends. I don't, I don't sleep much. So they rely on that. I am the guy that at 5 in the morning is up and at them. So my early bird friends can kind of call and we'll go for a run um, or swim or go do something. 
uh, breakfast. Or I am also uh, a night owl, so my friends that stay up late will call me to go hit the clubs and go out to Fred 62's afterwards and stay up all night. Yeah, I don't sleep a lot. What's up with that? I just don't, I don't know. I fall asleep, I sleep really hard, and I wake up and I'm just, I'm up and ready to go. So, but when I sleep, I sleep. Um, so yeah, the guy they can always rely on. And I'm the designated driver always, so they can always rely on that too. So I get a lot of those phone calls too. Can you come pick me up? Where are you? I don't know. Those are my friends. <laughs> but I love them dearly. Okay, fill in the blank. When I was 18, dot, dot, dot. When I was 18, I had just recently been 17. And I was soon to be 19. Um, no, when I was 18, I was getting the college guidebook, probably, right? Is that 18? Is that 17? Probably around 18. Getting ready to leave for college, like ripping out Southern California in that giant, like, nationwide college guidebook throwing the book away, looking at the schools at, uh, at, uh, in Southern California, choosing USC, and, like sending in my application, packing my bags and heading west. That's what I was doing when I was 18. And I was dating Katie Wasberg. Hey Katie! <laughs> in Texas. I in Texas. She was sweet. I like Katie. Okay. It's a long time. She's got kids now and, and a great husband. Um, if you are given a chance to travel back in time and change anything in history, what would it be? I'd like to see a world where Hitler never reigned. That would be cool. It'd be interesting. It changed a lot of things, but yeah, we could do without him. Um, and there you have it, no more questions. I've had a blast today with Sharon and Amanda. The sun is setting on us, we've been together all day long. And uh, we have to do this again and again. It's fun. All right, thanks everyone. Thanks for uh, for watching and for coming to Amanda's site. Peace. <laughs>